right, let's talk about dog tooth calcite. Now, dog tooth calcite, there's a ton of different types of calcite, by the way. Um, all different types of calcite. So I am not going to have, there's no way I could have one video that encompasses everything. It's just impossible. There's just too many types of um, calcite specimens and it's impossible to put them all in one video. So I'm going to split them all up eventually. But um, one that has to be discussed is dog tooth calcite. And dog tooth calcite comes in all different types of shapes and clusters. And it can range from a uh, yellowish to brown uh, to even like a light yellow. So even though it's dog tooth calcite, it's not always going to look exactly like this. It's going to look different. And it is a little painful. <laughs> You're not going to want to sleep with this crystal. Um, but look at the points in here. It's like there's no question why they refer to it as dog tooth. I mean, each one of these crystals looks like its own little tooth. And it is very beautiful. I mean, there's usually, if you get a good specimen, there's just tons going on. Um, I It took me a while to really learn how to use dog tooth calcite. And once I did, I am so glad I learned how to use this crystal and how to work with it. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, here's another representation this one, it's not as clear with all the little teeth sticking out, but it is still dog tooth calcite. And it is still absolutely gorgeous. So, dog tooth calcite, one single word I could say that's going to sum up dog tooth calcite. One word meditation. If you are getting into meditation, if you are just learning meditation, if you are advanced at meditation, everything meditation, get dog tooth calcite and you will not regret it. So when you're working with a lot of other uh, crystals, minerals, when you want to connect with them, there's two different ways. There's passive and there's active. Now, Passive is the simple form where you can lay it on your body, you could hold it, you can just kind of wave it around your energy body, you can uh, sleep with it, you could use it in a pendant or a bracelet. Um, that's passive. You're not doing anything, you're just kind of soaking in the vibrations of the crystal into your energy body, not really doing anything with it. But you're just kind of letting it soak in and attune to whatever vibrations that crystal has. And then you will get the effects from it. Dog tooth and a lot of other crystals, you need to enter like a meditative state. So when you work with crystals from an active perspective, that's more of you need to hold it and connect with it and when you connect with it the easiest way is to enter a meditative state now a lot of times people just stop right there and say i don't know how to do that that's too tough for me <laughs> i don't know if they sound like that probably not but you know what it's not that hard it really isn't and if you want to get into this whole metaphysical spiritual everything that has to do with crystals even if you take crystals out of the mix, you still, by meditating, that's your channel and your gateway to go inward. Meditation is important because you're going to go inward. Crystals are going to help you and aid you and guide you. But getting into that state, that meditative state, is super important for getting deep down and, and uncovering um, a lot of the undertones and it's super important to, to master it and it's very simple and guess what's going to help you do that you guessed it dog tooth calcite and this crystal 
think meditation. If you want to get into meditation, dog tooth calcite. If you want to be better at meditation, dog tooth calcite. If you want to, if you're an experienced meditator, dog tooth calcite. I'm telling you, you need to work with it and use it. The cool part is, let me, let me kind of explain meditation in a little bit. I'm going to make it very brief. And I'll have other videos on all this stuff to really drill down and get deeper with it. Meditation is simple. Stop the chatter inside your mind. And now I know that that sounds like a, a very difficult feat. There's little things you can do, uh, little tricks that can help stop all that. But if you sit in silence and clear your mind at some point or another, it might be a minute or it might be 20 minutes, you are going to enter a state where you feel as though it's, it's tricky to explain. It's like you're a pinpoint of, of, of consciousness inside of a nothingness. And that's what you want to aim for when you meditate. And a lot of people don't ever get that far. And that's the part where you need to get. You need to go a little bit deeper each time. But if you guys, people that have meditated that have gotten to this state know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is the state you aim for. You feel like you have no physical form. Your physical body Everything is just kind of gone. You feel like you're just a pinpoint of consciousness inside of a void. That is what you're looking to do. That's, that's what you're looking to do. Guess what? Dog tooth calcite is going to take you there. And it's going to do it quicker than anything else. This is the primo meditation crystal to work with. It's going to get you into that state of nothingness faster, easier, and just transition you into it. And it's going to make it so it gets easier every single time you try to get there. And when you're using this crystal, whether you're holding it, you have it in a little charm, whatever the case may be, you could lay it on top of your body while getting into that state. Um, can, Focus your energy on this crystal and it's going to take care of the rest and get you into that deep meditative state way easy, way easy. And you're going to eventually be able to do it with or without a crystal, of course. But no matter what, I would use this crystal when meditating because it's going to get you there twice as fast. And that's what you want to do. It's going to amplify. You need energy when you're meditating. When you're meditating, it's that peaceful, it's calm, it's everything else. But inside, you still need that mental energy. This is going to give you that. This is going to give you that energy, that output, that burst of energy that's going to put you into that deeper state. And that's what this crystal does. It connects you. It connects you to the physical and it connects the physical to the spiritual. That's the way to say it the best. It connects the physical to the spiritual world. And if you work with it enough, it's going to get you into those meditative states unlike you have ever experienced. And if you haven't really entered that state of, uh, that pinpoint state of nothingness, then you really haven't gotten to where you need to go when you're meditating. So keep trying. But... This is going to help you get there. And if you are into meditation, pick some of this up. Now, the thing is with uh, dog tooth calcite, it can be a little pricey. Um, a specimen like this might be $30 to $40 range. Um, just depends on uh, how many uh, points it has and all that type of stuff. But it can work wonders whether you're just getting into meditation or you're experienced with meditation. And meditation is a huge part of connecting with all different other types of crystal specimens. So it's something that you're going to want to master and do not be afraid and do not get to the point where you give up because you can't do it and yada, yada, yada. We'll help you get there. 
it just takes a little practice and a little time. But tell, I'm telling you, once you slip into that, that state, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. It's going to be like you don't even exist anymore. You're just a pinpoint. Uh, it's like you're one piece of sand in on the beach that's 20 miles long. Just one little pinpoint of consciousness, but connected to everything. So definitely, this is the crystal you want to pick up. You want to get yourself some dog tooth calcite. And is it the most beautiful crystal in the world? Well, I think it is. I mean, it might not be for the, for other people, but it is a beautiful, uh, definitely a beautiful specimen. And just keep working with it and it's going to get easier and easier and easier. All right. That's going to wrap it up for dog tooth calcite. I don't have a ton of other specimens to show you guys. Um, I do have some more, I think, in my basement somewhere, but sometimes it's hard to find all this stuff when you're looking for it. <laughs> but um, definitely get yourself some of this. You will not regret it. All right. Have a good one, guys. See you next video.